John Johnson. Johnson was able to wrap up his guy pretty quick and pin him with a slick counter cradle that I'm sure the, the Ashkin boys had a hand in teaching him. DeVos was a part of an intense battle in the quarters where he came out on top. DeVos ranked number 12th in the nation. Don't believe Johnson is on the rankings quite yet, but you could believe after this tournament he will be. 30 seconds into this match, and we got a verbal passivity going against Kay DeVos. Minute into this one, still no score quite yet. Front headlock here for Johnson, looking to bring it down to the mat. Looks like he's peeking over at that ankle, was thinking about something, but the ref blows the whistle before he's able to do anything with it. Underhook on that right side here for Johnson. Walking DeVos down. And DeVos is going to get put on that activity clock. He needs to score in this 30 seconds or else he'll be giving up a point to Johnson after not wrestling aggressively enough in that first half of the first period. And there's the 30 seconds point up on the board for Johnson. The first point of the match. Digging an underhook on that right side. This is way more wrestling than Johnson had to do in that quarterfinal. Good elbow off clear. Got a lot of motion there. Out of Johnson. Now we got a verbal going against Johnson here. Looks for a pop double, but stops before he really commits to it, does DeVos. 20 seconds left in the period here. DeVos. at the top position in the bracket here. And he wrestled like it. Didn't give up a point until the quarterfinals. Johnson, on the other hand, he opened up the match, pardon me, the tournament, with a tech. Then a five-point victory, followed up by another tech, and then a 16-second fall in the quarters against Fernandez out of Illinois. And that is what brings us here. Dropping down into a shot here, gets to the legs pretty easily, right into a shot. Lace, but they go out of bounds before he's able to score on that. But he takes the lead regardless, and he's up two to one. Two minutes and 48 seconds left in the period. Good drag coming from Johnson. Gets a lot of movement coming from DeVos, but. Not able to capitalize on it. He's got to be careful with his feet near the line. Pressuring in is the Vos there. But it seems like he's got eyes in the back of his head because right before he steps out of bounds, he hunkers down, digs his toes in, and doesn't give it up. We're brought back up to our feet. Two 
minutes and 15 seconds, two to one lead for DeVos. Johnson hasn't been able to get any offense really off. His only point has, become, has come from DeVos going on the activity clock. DeVos, a graduated senior, which I was known for bringing to the tournament. A big reason why they do so well here at Juniors. But now in on that leg, looking for another takedown. But doing a good job at defending it until he gets wrapped up and planted on his butt. And two red is confirmed and up on the board. It's a 4-1 to one lead in favor of the Bose. And we're approaching a minute left here. Vos, after he's finished here in Fargo, won't be too long till he heads out to the neighbor to the south of North Dakota, where we are now, as DeVos will be doing his wrestling for South Dakota State. He's got to defend a train coming through here in Johnson. Johnson maybe timing his, his comeback here. 30 seconds left. Looking for a push out here as the Vos circling his way inbounds. Almost getting a throw out of it. Was Johnson 20 seconds left in the match here. Johnson needs something big and he needs it now. Trailing by three, he's gonna need a takedown and immediate exposure or a big four pointer here. Johnson doesn't do it and able to get the victory and gets his spot into the Fargo National Finals here is Kay DeVos.